What's going on everybody? It's Rocco with Rocco's Modern Survival. I'm back again with another video. Today we're talking about quail. Uh, I've got the button quail inside their uh, cage and they've got their water system and their feed and they're doing good. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if they're males or females yet. I'm pretty sure at least one's at least a male. I'm hoping the other two are females. So we'll see what's going on with them. And for the other guys, we have got the Caternix quail right here in their new cage. Um, I went out and I had them in a cage like the button quail, but I found this bigger one out in the shed. And I was like, you know what? I got to put these guys in a bigger one so they'll have more room to roam around. Uh, this will be perfect for the three of them. So I'm really, they're going to be really happy that they've got this bigger cage because they were in a much smaller cage before. I've got them in front of the door. They don't get as much sunlight as they would as if they were outside, but they still get a good bit of sunlight. Um, they're not going to be laying right now because no one's laying right now. Uh, that's just the way the quail are. I'm going to fix their waterer because they have knocked it over. i got to give them a new waterer. I don't like this one. I'm just not a fan of that one. So let's clean out the, thing, the, the uh, lips on it or the cups in it. The lips. Let's clean out the cups. But uh, yeah, okay. And anyone who has quail know about those, uh, or chickens know about these cups right here. You get them on Amazon for like five bucks or something. I, I bought them years ago. So I built that just like out of the blue. I was like, oh, I want to build this. I should have only built it with the two on the front. I was stupid and built it with the two on the side, but it is what it is. It still works. It just doesn't sit properly. So I have to have it on a brick. They're exploring their new area. Uh, this tote is, I have, I don't know. I have no clue what this tote is. Let's find out. Okay, so as you can see, this particular uh, tote is 30 inches long, 19 and a half, I don't know, 19 and a half, 19 and an eighth wide, and 13 and something high. I can't see. I think it's a three eighths high. Not 100% sure. But it's just a regular tote from Walmart, and it works perfect for indoor quail for right now because we're going to keep these guys inside. Let me flip you around. There we go. Inside until the weather breaks, and then we will have them back outside again. Uh, we're going to be tearing down the old chicken coop. I've got the chickens in an old um, camper top. I fixed the camper top up, and I put them in it, and I put some wheels on it to make it movable. And so it moves now. It's not the best, but it does move. And I'm going to hook it up to the truck and move it whenever it needs moved in a couple days. So I think that's just the best way to do it. It was kind of hard to build with like it like that. And I really need to put bigger wheels on it if I want to move it the proper way, the way I want to do it. But right now, with the money being as tight as it is, I got to do it just the way I'm doing it. So if, you know, these homesteaders are always saying like, oh, I can, I, I've used my tractor and I use this and I use that and I do this and I do this. And, you know, not all of us have thousands and millions of subscribers and we, um, not all of us get paid a bunch of money all the time for having our YouTube channels going. Some of us actually have to work for a living and do homesteading on the side, like I'm doing. So I get I get what I get done when I get done, and I and I got to do it all on a budget. So single parent trying to make sure his kids always got food. So these guys are uh, actually a. Uh, kind of a test on the on the homestead now i've never raised quail before i did but they never produced and i figured out why they never produced because they were in the chicken coop and the chickens were always scaring them chickens were on top of their cage and stuff all the, all the time and they were scaring them so they just would oh, no no you don't you dare you stay in there um so the chickens were always scaring them and uh they did not like that at all so they would not lay but i took these guys i'm not going to put them in the uh chicken coop i'm i got their own coop outside for them so we're going to put them in there as soon as the weather breaks and then we will see what goes on hopefully they'll start laying i've got two females and one male and i bought them for 15 dollars off of a, a friend of mine uh oh it's a friend of the families so i, uh, I bought them off of his kid so We'll see what goes on with that, and hopefully they lay and they do really good. So, but well, that's it for the day, guys. I just wanted to show you the quail's new setup. They're quite happy in it. They've got more room to roam around, and I think they're gonna be okay. 
So I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. All right? We were almost up to uh, 500. We lost <laughs> we lost a sub the other night. But we need to get up there to 500. I need 11 more subs. And we'll be up to 500. All right? So I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll see you all in the next video.